By 2020, the amount of money borrowed by companies around the world is expected to reach $75 trillion. That's more than 870 Bill Gates's. Why is it so much? And why are authorities so bothered? When a company wants to grow, it needs cash up front, and it gets it from investors in one of two ways, either debt or equity. There are two big reasons that debt in the form of a loan or in corporate bonds is more attractive to many companies. First, low interest rates mean that borrowing money is very cheap right now. But secondly, there are also huge tax advantages, and this is where authorities are getting concerned and stepping in. Heavily indebted companies are vulnerable in times of economic stress because they have to keep paying interest or bond coupons when revenues fall. Right now, U.S. and U.K. tax rules discourage some companies from issuing equity or paying dividends. That means fewer companies are going public. There were 7,300 listed U.S. companies in 1996. Now, there are under 3,600. That's down by half. That's a problem for investors, including pension funds and ordinary people who want to invest in shares to make their savings grow. So, authorities are rethinking the tax advantages of debt. From April 1st, the UK started limiting a company's tax deductions for bond and interest payments. In the US, the Trump administration has floated the idea of eliminating the tax deduction on corporate interest entirely in exchange for a big cut to overall corporate tax rates. Companies that lose some of their tax breaks might be more wary of taking on additional debt. Private equity houses might be less interested in using debt to do buyouts. Taken together, those changes could create new opportunities for investors who want the higher rewards, but higher risk, that generally come from investing in shares. <laughs>